If this were a real dog, it would be in good hands. Veterinary student Laura Schur has traveled all the way from Kansas State University here to Nicaragua to learn about animal rescue. After seeing all the destruction in Haiti, on, and I remember watching on TV after the earthquake, I knew that that was a place where I could be of help. Schur says back at school, she spends most of her days in lectures. Lessons like these are not part of the regular curriculum. She is one of a number of volunteers from around the globe taking part in this program created by World Vets. The training takes place here at Laguna de Apoyo, a lake formed in the crater of a dormant volcano in central Nicaragua, just a few miles north of Granada. They use two on top, three like that. World Vets is a nonprofit organization working to help animals worldwide. They've built international clinics, provided surgical training, and developed disaster relief programs for the rescue of animals. This course addresses a missing element. Ready? Ready. Hands-on technical training for animal rescuers. And this class was designed to help both animal rescue people get the skill level to work with rescuers and rescue people the knowledge to be able to work with the animals without being harmed. Graduates of the course are certified at a level higher than that required by FEMA. Their names are added to a database to be called on in the event of a disaster. But the rescue program is just a small part of the mission in Nicaragua. World Vets is about to open its second clinic here in the city of Granada, a training center for both foreign and local veterinarians. All care here is free, including spays and neuters. Locals get valuable help for their pets. Students get practical clinical experience. And it's a good place for them to come, practice how to do surgery in a low stress environment. Um, and they get one-on-one -on -one training, which is really important. From surgical centers to rescue operations, World Vets is expanding the reach of animal care, providing vets and volunteers the opportunity to learn under ideal conditions while preparing for the worst. I knew that that was a way that I could make a difference and I could change, help change the world for the better. Pat yourselves in the back, y'all back. Okay. Reporting from Laguna de Apoyo, Nicaragua, I'm Bill McKee, Murrow News.